All right, y'all. Welcome to it. The What More Can I Say podcast. Right? Episode... 129. 49. 149. Yeah. I never hear what Ryder says. He talks off. <laughs> he do Ryder do be on his I've never, yeah. I've, I've never, I just I just kinda nod my head. Y'all, I go off with y'all responses to Ryder. I'm deaf. So <laughs> Ryder talks, I just like, I, I have no clue what folks saying. <laughs> I, I, I like I ain't never seen it. 149. 129. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I ain't never seen a dude six foot a thousand and, and talk yeah. so quiet. <laughs> That's a killer then. That's to let you know. <laughs> Mr. Whispers. All right. Let's go ahead and get to the other members of the pod. She is the first lady of the pod. She's the only lady of the pod. Also sporting another pair of new glasses. So she probably the richest lady on the pod. She's fluffy and fine. She's KK. Baby, you like my sheen glasses? Come on. Hey, that y'all. was pretty slick. Yes. Woo, 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 woo. Come on. Woo, woo. They done gave me a sheen coat. I'm popping, baby. When Wait, I, they gave you a sheen coat? Baby, when, I get, sheen coat? when I get my Fashion Nova coat, it's up for okay. y'all. Okay. Oh, look yes. at you. I'm starting with sheen, though. Shout out to them. <laughs> Shout out to sheen. All right. Yes. Sheen. Congratulations on that. On that Kiki 15. Get you okay. 15% off. So it's no prescription in those. What you mean? Oh, no, no. This is just fashion, baby. Oh, okay. Yeah, the eyes is twenty twenty. Oh, okay. For now. So you got to sell something with the sheen code? Well, huh? You got to sell something or they're just giving you discounts to promote? They just give me a code, a discount code, in case Ooh. you want to use it, Ooh. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's giving yeah. influencer. It's giving. <laughs> it's giving. <laughs> yes. And he is the funny man of the pod, fresh off of his third joke jam where he made oh, everybody yes. laugh. It was so good seeing y'all both there. Woo woo! Woo woo! Woo woo! Zach Boo! Good seeing y'all at Joe Jail, man. I, I just love when the pod come out, support your brother out. Man, it was good seeing y'all. You know what? The crazy part is Tone and I were actually in the same building but did not know. Yeah. So, like, I was hosting an event on one floor and he was upstairs hosting another event. So, we was all working. Oh, yes. that's, that's what, what it was. was. We were all busy that day. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. When your next one? Don't worry about it. Y'all ain't coming. <laughs> we going to be busy then, too. I know. No, just, I, know. <laughs> I, know. I, 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 I enjoy seeing Zach, but it's always funny. Uh, we all know, if, if, whenever Zach goes to a show, now nah, I'm not going to say that. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm not going to say that on the oh. pod. I'm not going to say that on the pod. He'll tell us by the end of the episode, y'all. Just hang in there. We're going to get the tea. <laughs> oh, just hang in there. It's wild. Uh, man, let's go ahead. First of all, I would like to say something just really quick to intro the pod. Uh, for uh, for those of you that are using our podcast on your bigger platforms, maybe it's not the person, it's the star or the producer. All that we like to see is if you just like it, thumbs up it from your real page. Just so, I mean, so we... So I know that we could be inspiration. We've been some inspirations, which is crazy uh, to see lately. Yeah, lately. Uh, Just like it from your real page. That's all I'm saying. Just like it from your real page. I'm like, ah, I, I know you. I know you rock with us. Yeah. Or even better, just give us a shout out. Mm. You got these humongous platforms. You're using us for a little bit of inspiration. You're all talented people, but um, yeah, we please, see we see it. Give us a little. Give us a little shout out. Get an AS upcoming pod. What more can I say? Podcast. Shout us out a little bit. Yeah. Mm, mm, Maybe mm, throw mm. us a deal. I don't know. Wow. All right. Now that that petty part of the pod is over with. Shows violence. Uh, hey, let's go why ahead. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ghost Riders of the Year. All right. Let's go ahead and get <laughs> right into it. We'll jump into it. Dre and Michelle and then um, Jalen Green. Now, we touched on this a little bit, but it seems like it's still. Kicking up dust. Yeah. Kiki, when you see this, do you think she is getting, does she deserve more? Like people like saying she's a predator. They should really be on her. Jayla, is Jayla Green a goofy? What do you think? So two things can be true. <laughs> he could be a goofy. <laughs> and she could be a little pr- predator-ish, right? She's not a predator technically, but it's giving a little bit of predator. You know what I'm saying? It's giving that type of predator energy. And, you know, I'm I'm a woman and, you know, maybe when I get a certain age, I might want me a little young tenderoni. But mm-hmm. I can't see myself on something that young, especially when I have a son in that same age range. I could never think about it. You're literally dating somebody you could have pushed out your vagina. Men do it all the time. I will give her that. Men do it all the time and nobody says a word. But to me, 
I don't like the way it feels. I don't like the way it looks. But that's that's his business and her business. And she sh- she secure- secured a bag for 18 years. Mm. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Zach, you see this? What do you think? Well, um, I, I put no blame on that young man. None? Really? I Why? I put 0% of the blame on Jalen Green. That is a young man that's 21, 22. Mm-hmm. Drea is for real fine. Mm-hmm. For real. And when a for real fine experienced woman put that thing on you like that, <laughs> that's what happens. You twenty oh. you have you put a baby in her and you be like, This is my baby. I love her. Because he doesn't have the experience, he don't know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do I blame the people around him? Yes. Got to. You know what I'm saying? Do I blame his older people that's supposed to guide him and be like, hey brother, you know, this could go like this. Mm-hmm. And we don't know. They may have said something and he may have ignored it. Now, if that's the case, I do put about ten percent of the blame on him. But he's so naive, man. She got him so young, 21. You don't know. Oh, child. For a 40-year-old woman, a 40-year-old woman put some tricks on you. Let me tell you something. What they do, Zach? Huh? What they do? I'm going to tell you, (laughs) brother. Tell us. Tell us about what them 40-year-olds do. Man, I remember remember my first up there, older than me age, Mm -hmm. woman I had. I was young. I was in my early 20s, and she was in her late 30s. Changed my life. Oh, really? Changed my life. And she wasn't nothing. She was just a cool seven. Okay. Let alone a Drea. You know what I'm saying? And like she changed my life. So I know what a young what a what that young man is going through. He ain't ready. He just finished puberty. Hmm. Yeah. I mean oh, I'm with you on that. I think of course no, she it's probably not blaming the, blame woman. the woman. She put she put no, she put some some stuff on him. She put it on him and then not tripping. When you she forty, dread and dated more, and I know no shade, mm-hmm. but we all know she dated entertainers, basketball players. She know what that lifestyle is about. She not tripping about his phone mm-hmm. ringing. She not tripping about girls being. She not tripping. She already know that she she knows how to out outmaneuver all of those women that are younger than her, and she knows she's just as fine, if not finer than them, right. because probably the girl women that Jalen was messing with, they was tripping on everything. Getting mad about everything. That's the first thing. If you giving the dude peace, we good. But I would say for everybody, y'all got to hate the game. Uh, don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. That, hate the game. She said, hey, look, my son's 22. I assume maybe she was getting child support. Let's just say she was. So now that child support stopped about four years ago. Now she's like, hey, I need, I, I, hey, I, I, want, I need that check again. And here's how I'm going to get it. And Jalen Green gave it away. Not it, it, it just what it is. You gotta watch what you're doing. Jalen Green is 100 percent the prize. You have to know. You don't see successful women. They of course are messing with regular dudes. You don't think that Taraji P Henson or any of these women that I, if you're in a relationship, I'm sorry, but any of these high ranking women that are not in a relationship, not messing with a regular dude. They're not catching, and when I say regular, maybe not as rich and famous as them, mm-hmm. but they not going to let them put a baby in a one, and they definitely not getting ready to be serious with them. They going to have their fun and send them about their damn way. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what's going on. You don't see serious, serious, yes, high-ranking, what, I, on a very That's small a- percentage. Very small. Think about yeah, it. It's a smaller percentage. It's a small, sure. I, I, I'm not going to say nothing's 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. out of 100. Most just, women, I feel like, though, the 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 you saying the successful woman doesn't want a regular guy? No, I'm saying that you don't see a regular a, a successful woman getting trapped. Not often. It doesn't happen often. Basically, he's saying uh, a successful high ranking woman who bre- making bread, making yeah. more money, getting pregnant by a dude who trying to secure the bag. Yeah, oh, okay. he's saying that don't happen as much. I do y'all think that Drea is serious about a relationship with him? No. No. Hell no. That conversation got to be nuts. No. Come on, bro. She dead. She 40 years old, You're talking dog. to her. She's talking to her son. She's talking to her son, dog. That, that conversation got to be nuts. It got to be nuts. Oh. I've heard. I've listened to Drea interview. I've listened to her interview before. So mature I think I've been around her in the conversation before. She not stupid. And I say you got to be stupid. But goddamn, 40 to 22 got to be a nuts conversation about stuff. It can't be. The dude, he young. He the one still play well, video let me games. Ask you this. So when guys do it, do we talk about the conversation? He, he, of course you do. You know that, dog. Come on. I'm man. asking. I done had some terrible Come on, dog. Talk you, to me. You didn't have you have never dated a woman younger than you and had a terrible conversation. <laughs> like just imagine what Diddy and Carisha talk about. 
<laughs> like, can you just imagine that conversation? I think that, Carisha is be a fun conversation. It's funny and fun. Yeah, because you're con you're confused. You're trying to <laughs> figure out what she's saying. Mm. It's not, you know. So I it's what, <sighs> nobody that are in these. No one that is in a relationship like that is in it for the conversation. <laughs> They're not in it to talk. Okay, neither party. So who no. cares what the conversation? What like? are y'all doing in these relationships? What you mean? That you ain't talking to. You having a lot it's of sex. sex. Right. And then you laughing when you out and kicking it and having a good time. But I'm saying there is a moment when that stuff becomes regular and you have to really rock mm. out with each other. You know Ooh, that. I do. You know it. It's a time when you in the car and you like, damn, I ain't got nothing else to say to her. Mm -hmm. She ain't got Ugh. nothing else to say to me. Mm -hmm. oh, Y'all right. Because it's like a playful time. It's like where you just talk about the headlines, stuff that's going on. It's like, it's not really, y'all ain't really got no substance. No. And then when you get to the substance part, it's just, it's, it's two different, it's yeah, two different right. worlds. Well, you need somebody to pray for you. Can you imagine young Miami praying for Diddy? Dear Lord. <laughs> right here in this, in this situation that he in. <laughs> Zach, please. Dear Lord, uh, period. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know, Lord, that like, these other girls be lying, and I pray that the truth come out on Diddy because I love him. Yeah. And I want to go back to yeah. Love Island, period. And JT, she doing her own tour. It, the prayer go off, it ain't about Diddy no more. Right. It goes on JT doing her own tour. Right. And it's in restaurants. I was like, ugh, I'm not performing at Cajun Boil and Bar. <laughs> now, why you did But she want to be like, Shout get back on me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right back to it. Right. You see what I'm saying? So can you just imagine Diddy going through all this? We ain't seen them together since. Because what can she do in this situation for Diddy? She can't pray for him. She can't talk him through it. She don't have any advice. So when you in a relationship with somebody and this is the age Your gap, Miami it's like fight that. you. She's going to fight you, Kiki. Me? All I, he did the impersonation. All I did was you say. You gave me the idea. <laughs> because I just know what that's like. You can't be with somebody like that, and then you going through something. It's like, can you pray for me, babe? You know what I'm saying? Can you Ooh, imagine? This girl was younger than me, bro, <laughs> and and drop dead. Go Do you hear me? I'm talking about fine. Yeah. Like I was just like, I like, I can't believe you letting me jump up and down on you, lady. I can't believe this. this you so fine. That's how fine she was. She's so fine. But she was the dumbest person I'd probably ever. I used to wonder, how do you function without me? <laughs> Come on. I'm scared. I'm scared. I was like, I was, I, call, I was really calling to check on her. Like, how your day go? Like, did you cross the street okay? Like, <laughs> like it was. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I was on the phone. She was you. dumb as shit, bro. I, that's a, that was one. Like, how are you walking around functioning as a, an adult dumb? Mm -hmm. I, I was talking to this girl one time. She was so dumb. She was like, <laughs> I was like, hey, what you up to? She was like, now ask me some questions. <laughs> I was like, now ask you some questions. <laughs> She's like, you don't want to ask no questions? I said, this is the stupidest conversation I've ever had. Can you imagine? We just don't sit up here and ask people to ask questions. <laughs> Let's ask questions to each other. Let's ask questions. <laughs> you don't never have no questions for me. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Very weird. Yeah. I, I hate there to pick you up, but I got some. I got some. I got some busted drink, and we go and just eat. Yeah, like that, that, girls like that only understand fried shrimp. I got fried shrimp. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, you want to go get a crab boil? Okay. I take you some one of them seafood. Man. That's what they into. So, like, can you imagine what's something real going on in your life? <laughs> you from now? You know, baby, they didn't lay me off. You want me to print you a resume? Like, no, bitch, a resume. Like, what the fuck I'm gonna do with a resume? You know, like this is the type. of... This is the type of stuff that, like, you got to know who you with. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, a like, <laughs> Zoom is nuts. Yeah, and you gotta love. You gotta be. Uh -huh. It gotta be a different kind of love to put up with that. So. Yeah. So I mean, that's why the other thing we just looking at the fact that with the dread thing, it's just like, like I could like my daughter's 23, bro. Like how? Right. Like, and I know my daughter was, and my daughter's smart, and I I know what she talks about though, as she's supposed to. She's a young woman. Mm -hmm. She's talking about young woman stuff, the things that matter to young women, makeup, guys, uh, they friends, mm -hmm. things that happen on the internet, and like, and they and like, yo, like it just, 
It, it just well, it's, on, it's, on the flip though, I don't want no old woman telling me about her four hundred one k. Why not? That's true. So, hey, you want to talk about these stocks and bonds? No, no. You nah, better but get you can have some good. Con- I'd have some great conversations. They gonna with pray some- for you. They yeah. gonna cook. Come on. They gonna make under. sure you moisturize. They yeah. not send you. Just ask me for some Vaseline. I sure you had did. an old woman in your life. You would never been outside ashy. Yes. They gonna make sure everything. You. Yeah, your it's house gonna be clean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you got to get you a old. Yeah, hey. Yeah, them young girls ain't. Don't do the house. old ladies now. Yeah, and 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 I want Dre, I want Jalen Green. If you're watching this, or someone shows you this clip, or something, and you've watched it, I do want you to remember the feeling you got. The feeling you got when Gilbert Arenas and Swaggy P were talking about Dre. That feeling. I want you to take that feeling and hold it with you every time before you do some dumb ass stuff by running into something raw that you ain't supposed to and shooting the club up. Remember that feeling. Because, I mean, like I said, like for guys, y'all are our prize. And when other and, and when we get a prize that other men has had, it gets real mean. Mm-hmm. We go, you go, the other dude is going to see what you got going on and crack jokes. Yeah, I remember when she used to blah, blah, blah. I remember. That's why half the dudes don't even marry women from their own city. Hmm. Never thought of it that way. All of my boys, they unless they went to high school with her mm-hmm. or they went to college with her, they it, it's very hard for, for dudes to find women that from the their own city mm-hmm. without some knowing that somebody else mm-hmm. in a immediate circle was jumping up and down on her. You rather go get somebody from a whole nother city. Well, you don't know her past. Yeah, I don't know her past. Wow. And they don't nobody know here know her past. Right. It's tough. It's tough. Mm. All right. Uh, what do you got, Kiki, about TikTok? Okay, so they just the house in them just passed. The ho- See, now I'm talking like Carisha. The, the house, house in them. In them. <laughs> hey, you got a college <laughs> the degree. Them, the house just, in them. Just passed the bill to uh try to ban TikTok. And they telling us we got six months to get out or they going to shut it all down. Now, I know this rocked my world, Tom, because if I can't get on TikTok, how the hell am I going to talk to the lady? You just, Tom just got popping on TikTok. Okay? You know how much time and effort he didn't put into TikTok in the last six months? And now y'all want to cancel it? This is horrible, bro. Like, what is what is Money Long going to do? Like, what? What? It, what? No, for real. All of the artists that's popping off TikTok. Why money long? Money, money long. She will say herself. What? How money we, long did, did her song pop both off a of TikTok? Yeah. Both of them. Hours and hours and made for me. Both of them TikTok came through like that. What are we supposed to do? I don't know. Maybe I'm Instagram sad. will become that. I don't want. See, this is the problem. I, it, <laughs> I'm upset because <laughs> uh, we can't have nothing nice in America. All this stuff going on in the world, and y'all worried about TikTok? That is kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm like, we can't afford groceries, bro. And you worried about TikTok? <laughs> Grapes. <laughs> they charging <laughs> us for water, <laughs> apples. <laughs> People that God gave us for free. Yes. Like what? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, that was my whole career plan. I'm going to do this radio thing <laughs> until it fall. And then I'm going to go. I'm pop, I am pop. want to get popping on TikTok to the point where I can fund my life off TikTok. Now, you talking about you finna shut it down? I know. My daughter probably going crazy. This is n- Bro, we ride at dawn about TikTok. Y'all thought they stormed. <laughs> but, uh, we pulling up <laughs> on, on the people for TikTok. I can't let this ride, baby. If you ain't never voted in your life... All the Carishas in the world. If you if you've never registered to vote, oh my now God. is the time. I need you to stand up. We go vote for TikTok. We gotta vote for TikTok. Forget all, all the stuff in the world. You want to vote for, for yeah, TikTok? Yes, yes. This is crazy. So I don't I don't know what's gonna happen, but I just need every Zach. I'm gonna need you to pray. Um, pray you know, for everybody who is going through right now. I'm all my favorite TikTok. creators. Dear Lord, bring us down. You bring all the creators down. Money longs. The- bring us down. No, I'll bring you down to the altar. No, I was going to say, now you praying like Carisha. No, I'll bring us down to the altar. Oh. Now, don't ever question it. <laughs> I didn't know where you was going. how you pray. Bring us down. Okay. Bring us down to the altar. Yes, Lord. please. Sometimes you got to humble yourself. You know uh, what yes, I'm saying? The yes. Lord is saying, y'all wasn't appreciating TikTok no way. What? Y'all didn't have no appreciation. So now <laughs> he had to threaten y'all with a little, hey, you got six months to get your act together. 
This is too much. I don't so, think it's going anywhere. You don't think so? Here's what's going to happen. I don't think it's selling going it. It's, it's too valuable of an asset right now in the world. It makes too much money. For other people. You know? I think because it is it is a Chinese app, and, and I think they're worried about spying and, and picking up a lot of American info and things. I don't, you know, I've heard that. I've read it. But I still think, man, it, that that thing is a monster, bro. bro. As far as like what it's generating, when some generating a lot of money like that, like Zach, I agree with Zach. I think they're gonna most likely try to sell it to somebody. That's what they're anybody. threatening them, right? That's what they want them to do. No, like either to sell, sell it, it to us, or you right. can't have it. That's basically what they're saying: sell that's... it to an American company, or you can't have it. And that's to me, I just feel like that's more about control over the content that is on. TikTok. Yes, yes. If you notice, if you put certain things on Instagram or you put certain things on Facebook, they'll either flag it, take it off, or or put like a warning on it and tell you it's not true before you even got a chance to look at it. Mm -hmm. So they can't put those same sanctions on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? So that why you think the government is getting involved? The government's getting involved because they like, hey, we got to be able to. Y'all just can't see it and everything you want to see. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We found out a lot of stuff that was going on in the war. That we didn't know about on TikTok. People yeah. was communicating on TikTok, doing those things. They like, no, this is, it's too fluid. So, so sell it to us. And when they sell it to us, it's not about being a social media platform because what they're gonna do is have them same restrictions that you have on Instagram and Facebook mm -hmm. will now be on TikTok if it's sold to TikTok. Bro, I no, learned how to change my oil. I could fix an alternator. I could do taxes. <laughs> I could do a lace front and makeup. I learned how to do all that on TikTok. And you want to take this away from me? Like, I'm not riding for this. I'm not letting this go. I Google everything on TikTok. That's what I'm saying. TikTok. Best restaurant in Chicago. How'd you get code? TikTok. Oh. Trying on clothes on TikTok. You, you know what I'm saying? Was, like, damn. Yeah. I, I knew that's where it came from. I knew it. They trying to mess up my hustle, and I'm not standing for it. And so. told you a new TikTok star. I, I have been popping on TikTok. Yes. I, it took a lot of work. How you feel about it? I'm, I'm, I'm salty a little bit, yeah. but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. I'm not gonna panic until it's gone. You know me, me I I be thinking like everything fake, and it's a lot of fake news, or people mm. just overreact. No, they voting in there. At, <laughs> at, the, at, the, house. House, at the house, they really voting. <laughs> the house now, that's them. done. They voted. They got six months to do something. Yeah, I, I feel like it's gonna it's, it's gonna work out in our favor. I can't look for me. I'm not gonna worry about. It. I can't control it. Bro. How do we get, we can't control it? We ride it, Don. Oh, oh my not. God, we ride it, Don. Somebody <laughs> gonna be riding on y'all ass because I just saw something in my notes. What? what? Somebody is definitely cold. Got smoke for y'all. I guarantee for you for both of y'all. What? Because y'all talked about Simone Biles' husband so bad, Jonathan Owens. Oh. He, he guess what? He is on the Chicago Bears. Yes. He is on the Bears. Simone Biles will be here in Chicago. She says, "I just love the city of Chicago." Jonathan Owens. That's his Look name? at me. Look at me. You're coming to Chicago. Do not, I repeat, do not go to any parties that that man in front of me is hosting. Oh, yeah. Jonathan, you will be in trouble. Mm -hmm. He's going to invite you out. He's going to say, let me show you the city, dog. Mm -hmm. He's going to have some Hennessy. It's going to be some beautiful women. You're going to mess up. Chicago is different. It's a different degree, baby, brother. Yeah. Where he from originally? I don't know where he from originally, but it's different in Chicago. It's different here. He gotta know that he has summertime to here. You think you gonna be out on a rooftop, Jonathan? And you think you ain't gonna and your woman around the world flipping and you, <laughs> and you yeah. think you ain't yeah. gonna fall stay short? Yeah. Stay in the house, Jonathan. Jonathan, stay in the or house. Or go with your wife. Stay with her. Why do he want smoke with us though? Because y'all was talking about when he said he was the prize with Simone Biles. Remember when he said that? Oh, right. So the thing about that is, the way you started this story off, what did you say? You said Simone Biles' husband, <coughs> husband. is coming Bless to Chicago. You. Do I need to say anything else? Nope, that's it. That's it. Okay. We wouldn't, if, if you would have said Kiki, Jonathan, what's his name? Owens. Owens is coming to Chicago. I would have said who? But what did you say? You said Simone Bell's husband is coming to Chicago. I rest my case. And when you get here, just remember, you are Simone Bell's husband. Yeah, oh my God! And that's it. You'll be you will be okay with all the women in the city. Just remember that you that, are Simone Bell's husband. Yeah, no, he, no you got to stay inside because this is a dirty inside. place. This, this, this is a dirty, dirty place. This is a dirty place. Stay this is a dirty place. I, I like. I know. Like I know. I know for fact. He steps outside. 
It's it is going to be women on him just to make him cheat on Simone Biles. Yes. Yes. It is. They are going, they're going, and they're going to get messy with it. They're going to get him. Yep. If he comes outside, bro, I'm telling you, it's way different than Green Bay. I know you've seen some pretty women in your life, dog, but Chicago different. Because they're going to keep it secret. They just going, only the people in the industry going to know that you mm-hmm. cheated. It's so, gonna, hey, and I'm going to tell you, I, I, I looked you up, brother. I see that you are from St. Louis. Oh, he know about the shot in. He know about it, but he ain't lived it yet. He know That's about Simone Biles. Husband, yeah. out here in these streets, these women. You don't want stay that. Stay inside, big dog. That's Just all. remember, stay inside. You well, think about this. Well, you still, you got the same energy for Amber Rose. She says that uh, Amber Rose says she never reached out first to anyone she's ever dated, from Ye to Wiz Khalifa to Twenty One Savage and to Machine Gun Kelly. She says she is the prize. She is always. She's reminding that uh, here, right here, Jason Lee's. Uh, caption it says on a brand new episode of the Jason Lee Show, Amber Rose reminds folks that she is always the catch. Mm-hmm. So, um, do we feel like that? Do you feel who like she, same who she energy? go with right now? She was the catch over Kanye West. So when they were together, she was the catch. Is that what she said? Yeah, she's the catch, and they reached out first. I mean, she's gorgeous, I mean, as they should. Because we're always gonna reach out first. That yes. All. all right, we got to pause. It's a bad day to be telling Capone. All right, let's go. Amber Rose says... Wait, we would like to talk. talk. We want to have a conversation. We would like to address a few things. Yeah. Before I go? Yeah, as a pod. We really wanted to have sit you down and have this intervention. What are y'all doing? And why is that music playing? Because it's about... <laughs> I you, get you, you and your relationship with Cheese is unhealthy. You got to let it go. And we're here to talk to you about it. Yeah. It's time to let it go. Feta. Cheddar. Rosarella. Provolone. Swiss. American. <laughs> Why are y'all talking with this music it on the background? It matter. This Any, is an intervention. It's time to let it go. Vegan cheese. We don't yeah. even care. Yes. Time to let it go. You, can, you cannot from this day forward from eat no From this day cheese. forward, just promise me. You won't keep doing this to yourself. Oh, Sarah. We don't need that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, they into the chat. Damn it, YouTube! But yes, <laughs> yes. That, this is very serious, you and we are not playing with you. Okay, I'm gonna you know, stop eating cheese. Every other day, your ear clogged, it's, your nose no, clogged. It, 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 it's, it's beating you up. It's, it's whooping your, your ass. ass. <laughs> this it's is an abusive relationship. Not when you not winning this fight. Ever. I'm not winning this fight. No, I'm not. And I'm I, so sick right now. We hate seeing you. I'm, like so, this. I'm sick. I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, I feel I'm uh, terrible right now. I I, you gotta let it go. <laughs> yes. Okay, I will. All right. I will. I'm sorry about that guy. Other stuff, man. But. Can y'all never, ever, ever play that song again? <laughs> <laughs> you two bastards. <laughs> Both of you are some bastards. But I do appreciate you. You're concerned for my health. Yes. We do, we, we concerned. About it. Yes. We oh, have okay. to leave that cheese alone. It's got to go. <sighs> leave it alone. All right. Can we get back to the pot? <laughs> Yep. Can we? Okay, yes, we can. <laughs> we have some minutes left. We still have some minutes left. Okay. Amber Rose says she never reached out first to anyone she's ever dated uh, for a post with Jason Lee. Uh, she says from Ye to Wiz Khalifa to 21 Savage to Machine Gun Kelly. And uh, and in the caption, he, she says, Amber Rose, well, uh, Jason says, Amber Rose reminds folks that she was always the catch. Thoughts, Kiki? I don't think we needed to be reminded that Amber Rose is the catch. I've always thought, the, I always think the woman is the catch anyway. Um, so I didn't need the reminder. I think she's t- maybe reminding herself because, you know, I don't know who she's dating currently, but it ain't, you know, somebody that we know. So maybe she just want to put it out there. She see what's going on for Drea. And maybe she want to remind everybody like she's the catch. So I didn't need the reminder because I always think you the catch, but. Why do we, why do y'all have to say have this just who's the prize and who's the catch? Because y'all forget all we the time. In a, you in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You are there for him, the mm-hmm. service of him, and he's there for the service of you if y'all yes. don't have a successful relationship. Why does it have to be a, a battle of who's the catch or who's the prize? Because y'all love to forget. Y'all love to forget that we're the prize. Come on. Love now. to forget. I mean, I, like, come on. Now. Look at, you just talked about Simone Bow's husband. He surely forgot who was the prize in his relationship. So, so much so that he got di- on a podcast. So why and said is it. it different 
when it talks about Amber Rose. Like, Amber Rose is, I've seen her up close. She bad. I, any she man is. with two eyes is going to try to holler at her. Yeah. But that's any, that, but that's what any man is going to do with any pretty woman. We're going to try to holler at her. Right. But I'm saying, like, yo, my, like, 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 that's yay. That's 21 Savage. That's Wiz Khalifa. That's Machine Gun Kelly. Like, that's I mean, Amber Rose. I'm just, at, 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 no shade to Amber Rose. <laughs> right. She's not on the level of any one of them in talent and notoriety, period. They, you're talking about people that have sold out stadiums. Yes. Stadiums. Yes. People that have sold out, sold out stadiums. Come on, Kiki. Like, what? stop. But like, I mean, like, pr- she she is a hundred percent gorgeous. Any, like I said, any man gonna want to get at her. She, but and, and it doesn't. Like I said, like we literally we're going to holler. It if you're bad like an Amber Rose, trust me. Right. You not having no not a problem in the world with men hollering at you first. That don't even matter. I mean, real dudes, we gonna holler at chicks first anyway. Yes. We, we literally know her because of the men she's attached to because of the relationships that she's been in. Yes. That's why we know her. Mm-hmm. So to turn around and say they tried to holler at me, I'm the prize. I mean, I'm pretty sure they tried to holler at you because like you said, she, you're beautiful, but we know you. Your fame and notoriety came from being that person's girlfriend. Like You know, you know that those guys were the catch. Yeah. 1,000%. This is true. And you know those again, guys. Again, what I'm saying is, it could have been you or any other pretty girl. Whoever was next to that person would have been. Well, known. can't say that because the, all these men have dated other pretty women and it didn't hit the same. Let's be honest. She came on the scene and Kanye yeah. and her were a, a dynamic look. Oh, yeah. It was a great oh, yeah. look, and if, you know Kanye probably had her dressing, having yeah. you know whatever the case may be. <laughs> I don't think what she said is directed towards. Her exes, I think it's more so for her future man because I think she's in a space in her life where maybe she has forgotten that she's the prize and she's just saying that. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, she okay. she had a baby by that that record guy that's dating Cher. The you know, the guy that's running around with she Cher. She one hundred percent put him on. Nobody you knew who he was. You see what I'm saying? So and she's like But he, he was he, but he must have forgot. She was the prize okay, okay, in that situation. I get that. I get so that. I think she's speaking from a much different place. Okay. I don't think she's going at the other guy she dated, the real, real famous one. Yeah, if you, if yeah. you, if, if I dated Amber Rose, I'm 100 percent Amber Rose boyfriend. Right, exactly. And, and even with a radio career, she's just a bigger name, and exactly. I'm cool with that. I think that a lot of times, even when you see some women that they, like you see it, they get uncomfortable by that situation when they say, "Hey, I mean, you, you think about it, yeah, Miami, yeah, Miami was popping." Mm-hmm. But when Diddy got with it, she came Karee, became Carisha, and it got it got different. Mm-hmm. There's all it's levels to everything. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, yeah. like I mean, I just maybe we haven't seen the context of this. It's just a it's just a steal with yeah. a caption. Yeah. We don't know the context of the conversation. But yeah, if you, were you saying when you speaking away, you saying that that's probably what it is. Yeah. Because yeah, of course, the guy that's dating Cher that she had a baby with 100%. He was Amber Rose's boyfriend. Exactly. We didn't know that man before then. And he okay. didn't leveled up and got with Cher. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's just a lot that Did goes... Did he level in. up and get with Cher? <laughs> I, if I was him, I would surely be leveling up getting with Cher. Ain't no, you know 70, ain't no 75-year-old coochie to level up. Baby, you know how much money attached to that? Nah, and how much access attached to that? I don't, don't know about that. That Cher with Amber Rose... I don't know about that one. So you I wouldn't get date, it. you wouldn't you wouldn't you No, wouldn't. not in not in Tone. not in God's green earth would I it's give up much- Amber Rose and have over <laughs> share. No, it's not a it's not it's not a day. I don't give a hell how much money Cher has. <laughs> what? That's cra- like that's like dog. You was messing with Amber Rose, and then you went to share naked. Has to be nuts, bro. You're crazy. Then no, what? I'm not crazy. No. As much Cher, as you love money, you would not. I love money. I love making. So you gotta remember what I love. Tell I love us. money, yes. but I the, I love the the hustle of getting it. Okay. That that it's like like because I play video games. It's a okay. it's the it's the completion. <laughs> Okay. I like to I like to do stuff that creates money. That's why radio, when it became what it become for me, mm-hmm. it's it's it, it, it gets me excited. Okay. When we when we throw parties and it become and it, it, you know what I mean. Yeah. That is the creation that makes the money that make gets me excited. Okay. But yeah, you okay? I'm learning something new about you. No, I'm saying Amber Rose. If you say Amber Rose and I don't know, I don't know. 
Mariah Carey. I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah. that's a level. Mariah Carey's fine, bro. Okay. You like Amber Rose saying. or Anita Baker? Anita Baker. Nobody but that's Cher like, got to be she wild. Old. So it's just like it's like Bernice Burgos or Harriet Tubman. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Now, why? Right. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you do that. What? In Women's History Month, you never finna play on Harriet Top like that. Like, first of all, like, don't that? ever play with her like that. She's more famous. But... Don't ever play with Harriet Tubman like she that. Did bro. Free the slave. She freaked the slaves. No, I don't want no, 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 no. Not in Women's History Month. Not Yo, in I almost you called seen you the in there. That twenty, she was like. That, you're, she sick, de- bro. She, that, that, you're sick, that, 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 I, You're sick. That's sick, bro. And you better I, hope. You better hope. You don't know about to get you in your sleep. But you, you de- wrong. I, <laughs> that's a, you're hey, now, I think they made Harry a little way worse than them pictures. I think I, when they, when they, I think those photos are not it's really like, Harry. Tell NAACP, by the bro. They come. They gonna come out to you, but but they it's the truth. It's no way. It's no way in hell that I'm going to. Cher is Cher is beautiful. She looks nice for her age, but it's no way that I'm gonna say. You know what? I mean, unless Amber Rose is a bill, that's it. That's the only way I will get tired of the bill. You get tired of the bill, the bill that comes with it. Because I mean, we all know pretty women come with a bill. I'm not. I ain't funding everything. Mm-hmm. I, and, and I guess if you got a share, you don't have to because share. It's loaded. Yeah. It's loaded. But if I'm just looking at it block for block and I'm looking at it like, yo, Cher want to holler at me and I got Amber Rose, I'm not leaving Amber Rose. I, just I can't. am. I, I just am. Can't you do know it. what? That is a, you are a respectable man. I can't. Because I, I would leave. Ain't enough money in the world. Let me, you I ain't like. Are you kidding me? I think it's She's different 75. for women, though. You know how many, that's a few oh, years. She got to run out of moisture. It's got to be. Bro, who cares about that when you're Cher? You are y'all be, sick? Got, you know how much lube it's going to take, Kiki? <laughs> nah, bro, I don't care about none of that. You got the much water I'm, spit loop. <laughs> I'm not. Mm-mm. You got to. You got to. Get the fabulous like, 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 you put that. You put that stuff on her like some hot sauce. Y'all wow. <laughs> but Vaseline. I'm learning something. <sighs> Let me see that Windex bottle. <laughs> wow. Something down there. In women's history, ma. Uh, you I'm going hey, straight look, to hell. What? Look, I mean. What? I, I'm really shocked. I'm not even going to lie. With you, I am very shocked. Really? No, nah, yes. I, I, I'm ashamed that you think that I would go have sex for money <laughs> purposes. Now, what I get with... <laughs> <laughs> no. At, like, no. Okay. Like, like Oprah, Gail King, like, successful, still attractive, reasonably attractive women, <laughs> yes. That's crazy. Okay. Like, like, like... like Amber Rose, Gail King. Yes, I'm. Le- yes, I'm sorry. I know the conversation gonna probably be a little better. Mm-hmm. I know that, and the, then they both got big butts. Like you know, what I'm, I'm cool. Okay. I know. I, you know what I mean. I, I know. You know what I'm saying. It's just I couldn't. I can't. When I saw that, I was like, bro, you left Amber Rose, and now you looking to share naked. Has to be wild, bro. That's a real. Re- you really a money hungry dude. I mean, yeah. You really got. You really got to love bread, bro. Three hundred and sixty million dollars. That's what she worth. Yes. I don't care. Mm. She seventy five. What, what are you getting? What are you getting? What are you getting, bro? What are you getting? She... A watch? No. What are you getting? A nice no, dinner? No, you're crazy, bro. What are you getting? What? What? Crazy. Nice dinner? Yeah, watch? Some steak. clothes? Hit, baby, go shopping. How do you know that? Because it's shared. These folks going to... When old people date like that, they they will mess around and give Prince. you everything. No, when them superstars... That's dudes. When them superstars... Listen, when them superstars leave this earth, they especially have catalogs like a share, they don't... They estates don't go to the person they was just dating. Right. They, Michael Jackson estate wasn't like that. Right. Uh, Whitney's... Um, they Ray J ain't get a dime for Ray J. Ray J ain't get a dime. Why you didn't brought Ray J in this? <laughs> ain't get a dime. <laughs> And that was a man. He got up at the funeral and that's everything. It. And that's he all you get. Nothing. That's, you don't get nothing. Ain't get right down, right now. And I'm bro. saying this, your boy about to get nothing. He think he about to get something. They already own it. They be like, yeah, you know, Cher dating another young one. 
Uh, he just another number right now. I yeah, now that's y'all. it. You remember? Know. Um, do you remember Boomerang? Did you watch the movie Boomerang, Kiki? Yeah. Do you remember when he slept with uh, when Eddie Murphy Eloise, slept, Lady slept Eloise. Yeah, Eloise? Yeah, yeah, yes. And he thought if I sleep with Lady Eloise, oh, I'm gonna get this position in the company. No, she don't make no decisions. Look at her. Uh, no, that's I, I stand correct. I just. I would have done it. That's okay. Yeah. Good thing I'm out here go. I'd go bang share over Amber Rose because that shit. That's nuts. That's nasty work, Kiki. And I'm ashamed what you think of me I'm that sorry. way. I'm so upset with you. I'm sorry. I'm so upset with you right so now. Uh, all right. Do we got anything else left? Do we got anything else left to get to? Uh, Mark, do I? Something else happened. What else happened? What else happened? Y'all see Mike Epps? Oh, oh the Mike Mike what? Uh Mike Epps when he was on All the Smoke. Mm-hmm. Okay, what you what happened with so that? So basically Mike Epps is on the podcast basically saying he's never been a hundred percent with any woman he's dealt with. He just that's his goal. He was really like saying, My goal in life before I die is to be one hundred with a woman. <laughs> but I think Mike forgot he was married. And that don't sound good, Mike. And then he went back and <laughs> he got mad at Eric. The thing that made it so funny to me, not is the fact that Mike got mad at podcasts. Mm-hmm. He's like, the hell with these podcasts. I ain't never doing no podcasts again. Got me on here just talking. Yeah, he did cuss they podcast out. the podcast out, out and cuss everybody else out. But Mike, they didn't even ask you about that. You led yourself into that whole conversation just talking. And I think he got comfortable and was talking like he was just talking amongst the guys and forgot like, hey, you got a wife. And even if you haven't cheated on your wife, it probably made her feel away. Mm-hmm. And then he put up two posts after that apologizing to her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't. I mean, but I, do you think? I don't think. I don't think most guys have been a hundred percent with every woman. You learn. You got. You learn the woman that you with. That I'm sure you, that you with with and trying to keep. Mm-hmm. That's when you become hundred percent because you didn't. You saw what fifty percent got you. You saw what sixty percent got you. Seventy percent, eighty percent, even at sometimes ninety. You like, oh man, I only just did it one time, and she caught you. Mm. So you know, I mean, I, I mean, I think I, I, that was a profound statement, but not when you married. Have y'all ever been a hundred percent with a woman in your life? Mm-hmm. I have. I have. Mm. Twice. Yeah, I answer very quick. Twice. Okay. Twice. But I mean, I'm not gonna say. It. I mean, look, I just said twice. Yeah, okay. I've been Two times. Okay. Two times. Have I have I started out at hundred at fifty? No, I've started out at fifty and oh, gotten okay. to a hundred sometimes. Okay. In some situations, I started off with I don't know. I'm still gonna keep my you know right. what I mean. And then you realize you're like okay. Well, I think everybody does that though. I think everybody has to grow because when you initially meet somebody, they got somebody. A hundred percent. You, know you got to see if this person is worthy for you to even drop your other situation. Also, that's how you start relationships. Don't try to put words in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. Key, what are you doing I over here? I know. I know. Key, what are you doing? You trying to say that. that. This the, I, I think this is a baby. I don't be that. paying attention. Oh, we. She tried to set you she up. She went to quick left, did she? I'm just saying. So that's how you be talking. Mike Epps Jr. Ooh. right here just do told you, us. Do you oh, know who you are? He said, he said everybody start a relationship with one foot in and one foot out. I got to see if it's going to work. I never said start a relationship. Yes, and one did. foot in and one foot out did not come out. I didn't say that. And I said when you meet some, when you initially meet somebody, uh-huh. you, ooh, Kiki, I gotta watch you. you I got to <laughs> watch you. You are look, evil. you don't have to try to be Wendy Williams right in I'm this not. room. She <laughs> is trying to get us I'm, out here bad. I'm just trying to get an so honest that's how answer. You, because I asked y'all, have you ever been 100? percent And y'all quickly, yes, absolutely. Oh my God, yes. And then in the same breath, you say, well, you got to start every situation with you with. 50% give you context. I'm giving you context okay. on when you first meet somebody in a relationship. You're just not like, hey, how you doing? You're like, hey, what day, Kiki? All right. Oh, my ho, you got to go. You know, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> what they say? Oh, oh <laughs> that'll be weird. <laughs> okay, can I ask one more question, bro? Huh? Can you pray like Carisha one more time, bro? Okay, like, <laughs> God, please, period. Like, can you please play for Diddy, brother love, because I love him. Yes. And I want you to bring him out of this situation. And I don't know why JT Tripping. is doing all that. I asked her to be in a reality show, Lord, but she ain't even want to be in it. Now that she want to put out another album by herself. I'm like, girl, them songs ain't going to do nothing without me. It's the shitty girls. <laughs> but yes. the song. Hold on, what was I praying about? Right. Oh, 
Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so back to him. Okay, God, like please pray for him and all his kids and cover him because it's a lot. They just talking about him. All these people. Some of these people are lying. And I will pull up on them because I they know doing? they lying. <laughs> Some of these people is lying. Oh, yeah. Hey, bro, you Because everybody's saying that. And then my cousin, they going to put my cousin in it, God. Like, why would you put my why would you put my cousin in it? Yeah, why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> you kiss, you kiss my tears. cousin just met Diddy. He didn't even know Diddy that long. So how you going to put my cousin in it? My cousin met him in 2023. That was in 2020. So that don't even make sense. Yes. Yes. Tell him, Carisha. That's, that's final thoughts, to man. Get your final thoughts, man, my please. My final thoughts is I pray Santana get a hit. And... <laughs> <laughs> Why you pray Santana in this? He be putting out music, but nobody like his song. <laughs> Maybe he could be the second city girl because oh. JT left. Amen. Oh, my God. <laughs> He is sick. You sick, bro. Oh, my God. All right. Wow. Uh, Kiki, final thoughts. That'll be heard from Zach. Brother Zach oh, Book. Brother Book. Um, I don't know. Final thoughts. Shout out to uh, the Pie fam. Pray for everybody on TikTok. Pray for Tone Cheese Addiction. Oh, and, um, you know, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, final thoughts. Sorry about the cheese. Uh, I, I'm feeling a little better. <laughs> It's one of them days for me. Uh, again, for the people that have watched the pod, the producers of other other places, <laughs> other things, please just like for me real page, like the clip for me real page, uh, or just give us a shout out or both. We appreciate that. With that being said, <laughs> what more can we say? Mm-hmm.